Hello, good evening, and welcome to the kitchen table. Um, this evening's video is about uh, hand catching your Phantom 2 Vision, or in fact, any quad with uprights and landing skids. Um, I've had some questions about um, how I go about landing now that I've got a rotor pixel because uh, the ground clearance is not particularly great. And to be honest, for a while now, I've been hand catching um, for several reasons. Um, if you've done mods like a gimbal or perhaps some FPV antennas that are below the level of the skids, or just because you're landing on uh, this winter, wet ground, um, dusty ground, uneven ground, rocky surfaces, unless it's fairly flat, doing a, a standard landing could tip things over quite badly. So I've been catching by hand and I've had a lot of people asking me about how I do that because they're a bit concerned about safety and you know, is it difficult? Um, and it's not difficult, but it, uh, if you follow a few simple safety steps, I think it can be very good. So let's, uh, let's talk about that briefly. Before we do, um, this is direct from the freezer some Smirnoff Black Small Batch Vodka, just for a change. So, um, cheers. Oh, cold, good. Right, so um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is talk you through my method of hand catching the aircraft. It's not the only method, but it's the one that I do and you know, take from it what you will. And then after I've explained it, I'll show you a video of me actually doing it. The explanation will take a lot longer. Um, and I think once you've seen the video, you'll realize that actually it's not too difficult. Things I would recommend you have before you start though is a neck strap for your transmitter because you're gonna to have to do things with one hand. Um, you can do it without a neck strap, but you need to sort of have a good grip and I would recommend getting some sort of lanyard or neck strap on the transmitter because it really really helps especially if you've done any mods with the antennas and bits and pieces because then it can kind of cause the antenna to be a, the, the transmitter sorry to be a, a bit bit sort of heavy and, and pull out of your hand. So <clears throat> my process to hand catch is set up the vision in a nice stable GPS hover. Um, it's not going to go anywhere and you've got it nicely level at about 10 feet high, quite high, well above head height, out the way. Then what I do is leave it there and I approach it so that I am upwind of the vision. That means if there's a sudden gust and I'm upwind, the, the, the gust is going to push the vision away from me before it corrects. If I was downwind, you might find it pushes the vision towards me and then it will correct and jerk around. So I like to be upwind. I actually, once I've got it in a stable hover, I walk towards the aircraft. It's 10 feet up and I go to one side slightly and I raise my right hand up. And then simultaneously with my left hand, I reduce the throttle to start to bring it down. And still with a hand fully reached up, I grab a skid and as soon as I've got it, I pull down with the left thumb on the throttle and I hold it there. The props will go to idle pretty much straight away and then after about two seconds, they will stop. And that's it. Um, so let's have a look at that in action. So here you can see on the video, I've set up a nice stable GPS hover. And when I'm kind of comfortable with it, it's quite high. I'm upwind and I approach the vision as I'm approaching it, I'm just gently reducing the throttle and bringing it down. And I stretch up with my right hand and I grab hold of the skid quite firmly. And as soon as I've done that, I pull down. Here we are, I pull down and hold with the left thumb on that throttle whilst I'm keeping the vision up at arm's reach. After two seconds, the props stop and I can bring the vision down and put it on the floor and everything's great. So it actually is a fairly easy process. Um, I started doing it 
when I was flying in gusty conditions. I found that if I wasn't able to find a very sheltered spot to land, you would get all sorts of squirreliness and movement, even in GPS mode. Um, and then once I've added the gimbal, uh, it's just my preferred method now. It, it Certainly, even in dry conditions, it, it keeps the dust and other things that the props kick up away from the camera, the air intake, the fan, the gimbal, all the bits and pieces. Um, and so now, without fail, I will take off from the lid of my flight case, which raises it again away from wetness and dust. And I, and I, uh, when I'm bringing it in, I've finished the flight, I will hand catch it. And uh, I've never had an issue, but I always am very wary. And if in doubt, if in doubt, don't do it. Because um, when you have the props attached to these things, they can be, uh, you know, they can bite. Anyway, I hope that's helped explain a little bit about how I hand catch, um, you know, find a method that's safe and right for you. But once you've done it once, um, hopefully you'll realize it's not that tricky. You don't have to wear giant gloves and a big hard hat and be scared too much, but always respect the the props whizzing around and respect the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the gusty conditions. Hope that's been of uh, interest to some and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Good night.